Test one, two, what is going on? Mobile App Mobile here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Android screen onto your computer screen. And this is called mirroring. So I'm going to show you how to mirror the Android screen onto your PC or to your computer. Okay. And we're going to be used, uh, doing that by the use of Mobizen. Okay. Now, I already have the Mobius and Screen Recorder in action. You can see on the side here, that's Mobius and Screen Recorder. Okay. But we want the mirroring. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you can either go to Google Play or you can go to AppToy. Okay. I'm going to be using AppToy. Okay. To download the app. So, I'm going to go ahead and tap AppToy which is the best app store in my opinion and I'm going to search Mobizen and Mobizen and okay there it is and we're going to go to the Mobizen mirroring okay so go ahead and click Mobizen mirroring okay and we want to install. Okay, you're going to get the messages here. As with Google Play Store also, but. Yep. All right, app installed. Go ahead and open it. Okay, then you're going to get the message here. And I got the Clean Master on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh Delete that APK file because I don't need it. Okay. And let's go ahead and start. Tap start. Whichever uh, Gmail account that you want to use, go ahead and do that. And enter password. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause it and enter my password. Okay. And let's go to next. Okay. Then you're going to see the... Uh, Brief tutorial, extend your mobile experience. You know, you can browse to that, connect using USB, USB to PC, and so on. Start. Now, this is going to be kind of tricky, and I'll show you what I mean as I go through it, actually. Okay. So now we have it set up on our phone, and we're going to pause and go to our computer. All righty, here we go. We're in part two of uh, how to get your Android screen onto your computer. So we're going to go to Google, type in Mobizen, because we need to go to the website, Mobizen. Let's do a quick search. Uh, let's click your first result, actually. That's all you need. Okay. And here we are. Okay. Um, oh, I probably need to widen this screen, uh, but anyway, all right, this is the site. What you're going to do first, let me move this screen over a little bit, uh, and this is appearing at the edge here. You're going to click this Mobius and Mirroring PC version. I'm going to click that. You're going to get that message there, and you're going to save that file. So just for the sake of Speed the process up. Let's save it to the desktop. Okay. And where did it go? I just see it down. Okay. It's right here. Let's go ahead and install it. Okay. Alright, you're gonna get the message there. Da, 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 da. Okay, next. You're gonna accept the terms of usage. You can look at that if you want, but okay, go to next. And it's gonna install.
Okay, now let's go to finish. Okay, and let's go and install the Mobius and Mirroring PC. Now I'll show you what to do with that in a second. Okay, but for now, we're gonna go back to the website. Finish up a few things. <clears throat> Okay, and we're going to go ahead and log in. And actually, I'm going to show you two ways how this mirroring goes from the website and from the uh, the booth, what's called the booster. Let's go ahead and log in. Find your account you're going to use okay now you're going to come to this screen now this is kind of tricky okay because I got stuck here but what you're going to do first don't click USB click wireless okay because some things you're going to have to do uh, if you click USB it may not connect so go to wireless, click connect, and on your phone, it's going to send you a code. Okay, it should at least. And and I was going to say a message is going to say uh, allow USB bugging. Okay, and you're going to get that code. Okay, on your phone. Well, if I can show this. Well, anyway, on your phone, you're going to see at the bottom, it's, it's going to say two-step verification. And let me start recording this on my phone, too. Okay. You're going to enter that code from your computer onto your Android phone. Okay. Connect. Okay, now it's loading my screen right now. It's saying Moby Zimbro start capturing everything that's on your screen. Start now and voila. Okay, that's everything on my phone now. That's mirroring from the website. Okay. And um see you move. See all your options there. But anyway, you can make this bigger full screen also. Okay. So anyway, get that done. So everything that's on my on my um on my phone is actually on my computer now. Okay, you see I'm browsing, okay, swiping, okay, you know, going scrolling, okay. Oh, that's on my phone. Okay, and that's from the website. But with the booster mode, okay, we can do the same thing. Let's see if I can minimize it. Yep. Okay. Booster mode. This will also show, let me move this over here. This is booster mode. This is a uh, shortcut on your desktop. Okay. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay. Okay, I guess it has the update. So we'll let it update. Okay. Now, with this booster mode, there is a monthly fee for this, but they're going to give you the first six days free. But anyway, let's just go ahead and scroll through. Okay. And log in again. Okay. Uh, you'll send message too is gonna say six days free or seven days free. 
Okay, so it's connecting now. Okay, got a code again. Okay, and you're going to enter that onto your phone. Okay, enter that code. Okay, click connect on your phone. And pro license period, you have six days left. Okay, now you can either extend it, and I think it's like $3.95 a month, or just click close. And there you have it. So everything that's on my phone again is going to be on my screen. Okay. So I'm scrolling, you know, opening games and so forth. Now this is the wireless connection. Uh, so it may look like that. We do USB. You know, it may, it may appear a little, may, the resolution may be better. But anyway, yeah, that's it. So you have the booster mode. And you can actually change the, um, let's see, we're using Wi-Fi, but suppose we wanted to, let's see, change, well, suppose, yeah, we can re take a screenshot, record, and so on, but suppose we wanted to, um, no, not that, I want to change the color of this, we can change this to white black and blue I believe but anyway basically that's it um, so let's come out of booster mode come back to the website yeah. okay and we did connect to the website right let's see yeah um, So basically, I just showing you two ways to mirror. I believe if you mirror from the website, that that's free, but you don't get the nice picture or the image of the phone. Okay, you just get a basic screenshot. Okay, well, let's do this again. Okay, enter that code. Okay. Yeah, like that. Now, yeah, and if you go full screen, it's not going to show the phone. But what you can do, um, you can get creative. You probably could, um, I don't know, I guess enlarge it some way. Let's see. No. Okay, but on the website, configure keyboard setting. No. Okay. But basically, that's how that goes. And also, you know, from the website, these are your set, your settings on your phone. Okay, so we we'll look at your files and so forth. You know, you can do that. But anyway, that's it. Okay, uh, how to enable screen mirroring from your Android phone onto your computer? Two ways to do it. Take care.